you will be creating an email sequence like this email sequence. Let's say, for example, in my woodworking landing page, let me just see, because I got a bunch of things to teach you. I just don't know where to start, but if you keep following my channel, I will be sharing with you guys. So when they get access here, here you will see in the automation that we have here, they will be included in this system in the email sequence sequence. So very easy. You just set this up like after two minutes, half an hour or maximum one hour. You will set up all this the email sequence, for example, this would working. Now, when you set up like this, you can have a hundred emails or if big amount of email, we will, but let's say they subscribe, they will receive their dispersed email right here. Once they subscribe with your affiliate link inside, it will wait for another day. It will again send another email to your new subscriber, wait for another day and so on. You can set up a week ever number of email sequence you want, the year of email. So we could do that. So this is how it's going to look like. As you can see, I tried subscribing my own email address to that landing page. And you will see here, a sequence of emails will be sent to you daily because there will be a one day pause so that not all emails will be sent in a day. As you can see right here, you've got email from Ted's Woodworking once you subscribe daily until your subscriber purchase from your affiliate link or they and subscribed. And there's a lot of affiliate offers you can promote, not only ClickMac and for example, he this in, in this uh, final here, I'm promoting some the book here. So when they purchase this, so I keep sending, I will show you. I keep sending in a sequence as well. So when they, this one here, so this Jesus calling, I have also the automation here set, set up. So when you uh, view the automation, again, the same thing, it's really simple. I am going to send them email sequence for a number of days until they link my affiliate link uh, and eventually purchase. So you have higher chance of showing the people to the email what you can offer. You can create as many email sequences as you want. I'm automating this content right here. Whenever I uh, have this content, I can also push people to click my uh, link right here, send them to my funnel or to this one. And your funnel, guys, uh, I don't know if I have enough time, but you can easily set up your funnel in your WordPress. That's the easiest way to do business at the moment. Whatever niche you're offering, make sure it's uh, your adult, guys. Coaching uh, or coaching spirituality courses, everything you can automate. Just do email sequences like this, send them to your funnel, create shorts which you can easily automate using InstaVid or if you, if you know something else use that and just trying to allow you guys you can also promote this InstaVid because you know, it's very trending now people like to create shorts and you can get 25 percent every time you are refer up or case credit and then i'm gonna show you how you can add your own domain here in aweber so that every time you create a landing page so for example your domain is tadswoodworking.com and then you have this initial landing page slash uh, let's say free plan or you have slash i free course something like that dance with working icon slash free plan or slash our my free course things like that and also the important about this let's say you have a new uh, list list right here so i have here let's say for example my active list is dance with working click nine and i have another offer uh, i have another landing page to attract visitors from another affiliate network which is dance with working jvzoo set say like that of zoo here with JVZoo, I have Tens Woodworking JVZoo at mydomain.com. So that's my email on the outer side of affiliate network. And the other one is Tens Woodworking ClickBank at mydomain.com. So those kind of things that you need to set up. So here in your account, you click this my account right here and go to this one domains and addresses. So first, what I need to do is add a new email. So let's say I have a new list here and I want to uh, add a new email address. First, I'm going to add my domain, my key. So for Aweber, I like to get my domains here in Nainsilo. So if you want to get your own and help, and I'm, I can help you out set this up. You can sign up in the link below if you want to get the new domain from Nainsilo. So this one, I'm going to use this as an, as an example. Here, I, what you need to do is, of course, add this domain right here. So example, you have purchased this one from Nainsilo, and then come back over here. So let's add that domain right here. We can add domain. But here, uh, you have few instructions that you need to populate in your uh, DNS records. So it's very simple to follow. You just need to copy this IP address here in the A record. So go back here, uh, click this uh, manage DNS for this domain. So we click that and from here, so you can see if you have an existing IP address right there, you just need to edit. So replace it with the one that we got from Aweber and then submit. Now that we change our A record, so right there, we have a uh, change our A record now let's go back and we need to add C name. So we modified how uh, we copied this and come back to the DNS record. And here in our C name, this one right here, we can modify that and replace it with this one right here and then click on submit. 
So now uh, the E record has this IP and the WWW C name has this record. Now it might just what, you know, in this AWeber instruction asking us to do. And we can wait for a few minutes and we can refresh the status to see whether it, these two have propagated. Strict one refresh and it didn't take long. As you can see, the domain is now connected. We're ready to build our planning page and our email address from this domain. So first, what you need to do again, if you have a new list right here, let's say we're setting up a new with that's with working up in page. We go back to the care domains and addresses and you will see right here, our new domain is now connected. Now we can add a new email. So in this format right here, let's say my email would be that's one at this one right here. So all the emails that we will send to our subscriber will be coming from here in this domain and in this account right here. That's one at nikenonhelpton.com. For example, that's the domain that you purchased. Now, so we will be taking this send verification. Now, in order, before we do this, since we haven't set up our email, now I'm going to show you how you can set this account right here. Going back to domain manager here in Nainzilu, we don't actually create an email. We will create a forwarding email. So using our domain, so carrying this one, can see this my niche email forwarding for this domain you will click this anvil of icon and here we will need to add this in our mx record so to do that let's go again to dns record of our domain so here we click this a blue icon my niche dns for this domain and here you can see add edit resource code we will take this mx and we will add these three records that's mentioned right here so we copy this and we paste it right here so if there's no host name so that will be defaulted to on if like this one so the add sign, you don't need to add that. So just keep it blank. So this one, we, we will add this as MX record. See, the first one has been added. We will add two more. And there you go. This tree have now been added. Now let's check if we can now add the new inner forwarding. So here in this page, we go back to manage domain. And here I click this envelope icon again. And now I were able to set up our the email forwarding. So we need this so that we will be able to verify this and would receive the verification. So what we need to do is add this, that's one, that's the first email account we will have for this list. You can see right here, that's one, and I'm going to forward that to my Gmail email and submit. So suppose you're not receiving email, that's get, you guess get it sometime because you just set up the DNS record. Every time you set up a DNS record, it's not instant. It will take at least five minutes, five to 10 minutes. In some cases, 24 hours. But nowadays, I know this, like it will just take a few minutes to propagate. And now let's see if we will be able to receive a verification in the email. Let's add this new email address, send verification. And there you go. As you see, we received the email from eWeber to verify that had this dead swan at 99hill.com. It's now being forwarded to our Gmail account. Now let's just click this verify email and our email is now verified. So we can go back again to our account. Let's refresh this page. Let's uh, refresh the status. Now that we verify that email, we need to do one more step for a new domain. Again, remember, this is just a one-time setup. After you complete the setup of the new domain, you just need to add email whenever you need it. And just like what I'm doing here. So here, you just need to add email, verify that, and that's it. All the domain consideration is completed. So you just, again, you just need to do this one time. So the last thing that we need to do, as you can see here, that needs to be fixed, we will need to add some more DNS records. This is still to comply with Google and Yahoo sender requirements. So we will need to add DKIM and DM ARC record. So we click this fix issue and you will see it provided you some more records that we need to add in our domain, which is pretty easy to do as we already added a few times now. So again, we will follow this. Let's add this. So here in Minage DNS, the first first record is this one. So let's copy these. So they're all C name. And so we will add a new C name. So here host name is that one and the target host name, this one, the value will be this mit. So that's the first one. So we will add for all this tree. Let's do that now. And after adding this tree, we have to add one more record, which is a TXT record. So we do this DMARC. Let's do that now. So you click this add TXT SPF, click that and uh, ace this. And in this record right here, Paste that. Have now added all this again. We need to wait for a few minutes. And here you can see all our setup has been completed. They're installed. And you can now click on done. And you will see the status of our dead swan account is verified. And you can now add as many email as you want using this Nike on helpdown.com. You just need to verify it, which will be forwarded to a Gmail account. So for example, I'm going to add another one. That's to at this domain. So send verification. So here you can see 10 things. So you go to your Gmail account. Dice before you do this, uh, let's add this first, you know, our uh, email forwarding account. So let's do that first. So again, add dead stool here and forward do up the same email account, just like that, and then submit. So now it's added. Our dead stool is now added here in your email forwarding to the same email account. 
and heat action here it may take up to 5 minutes for this to be active so wait, let's wait for some time before you uh, click the uh, recent right here so just wait for 5 minutes and here's the email now to thedstu at nightgetonhill.com so that's our second email that we set up and forward it to our gmail account now we are now able to click this verify email address and there you go our email address here should now be verified now let's refresh the status now we can use the stats to uh, as you are a hinder now we can do that if you want to add more and again make sure before adding this you set up your full writing email here you name siloa a domain manager now to be able to use one of these email you can click this list settings right here if you click that make sure the correct list is selected so here we are working on the that's with working list so all the subscribers that up in here in this list will be sent an email if you set up an automation from the addresses that we set here. Suppose we want the email coming from Ted Swan of Nike Nine Health. So this is the email address that we will set up for this list. So here we the, the from name you can set this up and you can save this listing right here. Save list. Now we can do that for all your list right here. You can create a new list and select a different from address. We can do that. Now let's go ahead and set up the landing page. So here, you click this landing page, yes, and you see right here, you will see all the landing pages available for this list that you have right here, the active list. And here, you just click on create a landing page. So this is very easy, guys. Uh, it won't take you five minutes to create and set up a landing page, uh, unless you want to make it really nice and beautiful. But for me, I will just need to create a very simple one. Uh, so watch how I create this very quickly. So I usually choose this uh, build from scratch. I'll this build from scratch, you will see this rows right here. You can reuse them or uh, I usually delete this so that it won't confuse me. I will delete everything here that I see so it won't confuse me. Now that it's doing, the first thing that I will uh, drag right here is the text. Here you will need a uh, header, okay? So here you can say get our free 16,000 plan. Subscribe below. Something like that. Make it catchy. I'm just doing this for the purpose of this at the moment. Make the header catchy. Because that's your, it's the first one your subscribers will be seeing every time they come to your landing page. Make sure this is catchy. So make that heading one. And you can change the font right here. And of course you can change the alignment to center. And you can change some colors. Let's say for example you want to highlight this and make it our red. Something like that. So I won't do this I like uh, very detailed. Uh, that's how you do it. I'll, what you do is make the divider uh, drag a divider right here, nerdy header. Now the divider, you can set this to maybe on 50 at the top and make this uh, none, so it's invisible. Now, the second one that I want to hear is either video or an image and the text. So here, let's do the image and text. So what you can do, drag this row right here under the divider, just like that. So this is your row. Now, in row, you can click this add left. Now you can drag two items here. One is the image. So we draw the image just like that. And here, let's browse some image to use. So here, I'm going to just upload an image that I saved from Google. Just like that. And here, in the second column right here, I'm just going to drag text. And here, I'm going to just type some information uh, right, right regarding my uh, landing page. Well, let's say I'm promoting this. That's when working. So I'll guess perhaps some information that I can uh, copy here on a page. Let's see here. This one right here. Then just copy it. Just like that. So you can... Uh, Add spacing to uh, this right side right here. You can add spacing, let's say the padding uh, will be 20. So you see it's uh, appearing nicely now. And you just increase the size of this pex to maybe uh, 18, just like that, or 20. You can change the font if you want. So keep it simple, guys. So uh, the goal here is to make them up in our page because we already warmed them up with our contents, with our short videos or articles. So that's why they came here to our landing page so that they will be able to up into what we're offering. So as you can see here, it's very simple and it looks decent. Now, the third thing that I want to do, this is optional. You can drag here video. So here, when you drag the video just like that, you can put the URL. Suppose you have a YouTube video about woodworking. Let's do that. So here, I, I guess be pasting the video that I copy from YouTube just like that. So you can add spacing again. So you get this divider again. So drag that in between of this two section and make sure you put some enough space adding. So let's do 100 just like that and make sure this is none. So it's that visible. So here you can see you have the image here. You have the simple text you can have the uh, bullet text right here. You have the video, you can swap them. And the third item that I want to drag is the form. So this is the one we will be collecting email. So this is our form. Again, don't forget to add the divider in between so that you can add space at the top, maybe 50, just like that, and make this none. So this is our form. Now you can simplify your form. Here, you can change the color, make it uh, maybe a brown, something like that to match how, uh, what we are offering right here. And you can increase the size of the text of the subject model. 
Just like that. You can uh, decrease the weight or increase whatever you want to do. You can design it yourself as long as you've. Uh, because whenever they click the submit, uh, that your a subscriber will be added to your list. That's the most important thing. And they will be included in the email automation that you set up. Now, after you set up everything, you can click this preview. So you can see right here, we've got the simple and a really nice looking uh, landing page. It's looking professional. Especially we will be adding this to the domain that we just configured out here in the page settings. So you just click anywhere, anywhere here, uh, outside of the LMS here, and you will see this page. You can go to settings. Now this is the time you can point to a custom domain. So here, this is the one that we set up. So you select this custom domain right here, with this one right here, and you will define the bot here. Or you can set this as the home page. So whenever someone goes directly to the domain, this will show up. But if you have, if you're planning to build multiple landing pages, using this domain so you can use a bot. So of course this one will be Ted's wound working. So that's the part of our domain right there. And we click on save, always save your work. Now, here in the form, in this, you can click the form, you will see the form configuration, you can see the submission right here. So the thank you page, if you want to design a custom landing page, just to say thank you, or you want to put the information and to have them download a file here in the thank you page, you can do that by setting up a new page. You can do a custom, create this one, create a custom thank you page. For now, let's do it simple, you can do that, it's very easy. Just create the similar thing that I showed you here. It's just the same as creating a landing page, and then you just need to select that right here. And that's all about it, to uh, creating a landing page. You just need to say this, out uh, here, you name it, a stats woodworking. So you just put some thing to uh, distinguish this landing page, because I created multiple stats woodworking. Go to the list of their landing pages. This is the new one that we set up. So remember, this one is at publish. So you click on publish page. That's it. That's your URL right there. So nanginonhill.com slash that's woodworking. So you copy this, and I'm going to paste that right here in a new browser. And there you go, guys. This is now our landing page. So you can send this, and you can append this link right here to all your content so that they will be able to come here and up into your landing page. And then once you've got their email, they will be included in your automation, which is set up right here. So the automation right here, I showed you how it's out to set up an automation in another video. So once they opt in, they will be included in this automation. So this is very simple automation, guys. You will send them email sequences daily. And see right here. So this is the first message that they will get once they opt in. And then here, wait for another date. They will get the second one. And then wait for another rate. They will get the third one and so on. So you can set up a month of email automation right here. In the sequence, it's up to you, maybe a week or a year, even a year of automation. Once you get their email address, you can do whatever you want. Send them to an automation list. Make sure you are sending quality content. So make a sales speech to them using this automation email right here. So do this consistently like uh, every outer day. Make sure they won't get annoyed. Any, anyway, if they get annoyed, they can unsubscribe. So I guess two things what will happen. Either they unsubscribe or they per case what you are trying to offer in this list. I guess you think that's what working as a sample. So if you have another product, it will work in any other, in any product. In any niche, uh, whatever you want to offer to them, as long as you do this approach. Make sure you put them to a landing page or an opt-in page. You set up an automation just like this. And then you create your contents. Create your contents to attract traffic, attract visitor. So whatever you want, as long as your goal is to send them to your opt-in page. Just like what I showed you.